you said just now that uh, to have true democracy, you've got to have a credible opposition. Now, you went to prison twice, and I'm sure we don't see this in your face, but you must have gone through a lot of hell in your time, in your rise, <laughs> the threats, whatever. So what kind of advice would you give to a budding opposition politician in Singapore <laughs> who maybe want to go in and maybe look at you and say, look, if this man has gone through so many hells, you know, and yet today he's a minister or a prime minister in, in Penang, and maybe in future, who knows? I mean, you know. Okay. Thank That's you. a good last question. <laughs> Well, the first thing you must have, the first thing that anyone must have, which I advise very strongly, is to have a good wife. <laughs> you know, Betty, uh, Betty has been my source of faith and inspiration. She stood my, by me through thick and thin, through all the trials and tribulations, through the darkest moments when I was in prison. I mean, I was comforted by the knowledge that at least my children is still safe uh, under her care. And I think uh, probably it's the toughest of all that you, know, you cannot hug your children. I think that really uh, was very difficult for me. I mean, these were difficult moments. But I think apart from, of course, uh, uh, family support, uh, having your wife there with you all the way, the uh, prayers of the supporters, I think also strengthens me. And finally, I think our, our unyielding faith in the people that they will finally support a good cause. The unyielding faith that the people wants to be better than what the present government say they are capable of. That everyone wants to be better for themselves. I think that faith is important to allow us to go through, I think, such trying and difficult times. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone, of course. I think uh, this is something you wouldn't even want to wish on the worst enemies. You go to prison, you see the worst of human nature. Yet you also see sometimes the best of human nature that gives you hope to carry on. But yet, as I said, it is something that is really a tremendous difficult challenge. So my hope is that I do not want to see anybody following my footsteps going to prison. Thank you. Thanks.